What is up guys, Jarv here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're actually taking a look at the best PC settings. So if you've just activated crossplay or you're new to Destiny 2, then if you're looking to increase your frames per second, then this is the video for you. So in this video we're going to break down the settings that I use and how you can increase your frames per second. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new around here and want to see more Destiny 2 content, and be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Before we even jump into the game itself, there's some important settings you need to check prior to even launching. So if you come to your desktop and go to your display settings here, you can either go into your display settings or your Nvidia control panel if you've got an Nvidia graphics card. So if you load these up, now first things first, you need to make sure that your resolution here is set based on your monitor settings but more importantly, your refresh rate. Now I've got 165 Hertz monitor here, but make sure that you set this according to your monitor to maximize your FPS. There's no point trying to get 144 frames in game if your setting is set to 60, for example. So come here, make sure you choose the right setting and you should be good to go. With that all being said and done, let's jump in game and have a look at the game settings. So here we are in game, as you can see I'm only getting 30 frames per second currently. That's just because I'm tabbed out onto another program though. Once I click into the game, I get about 140-ish frames per second, just being in orbit. Now if you hit escape on your keyboard and go to open settings, we're going to focus in on video today, so just the graphics and frames per second. Now we'll start off with window mode. So I'm running windowed full screen. Generally though, you should try and always be full screen. That seems to have better performance, unless you're like myself and you use other programs quite often and have to tab out and don't want to close the game down. Windowed full screen is the better alternative if you need to do that. Otherwise though, try and keep it full screen. Resolution, this should just match your monitor resolution unless you want to drop it to 1080p and that will further increase your frames per second quite considerably. Here we have V-Sync. For the most part, you just need to have this off. Um, I only have it set to 165 because I have a G-Sync monitor, but generally, I don't even know why I have that on to be honest, but you should just have it off. That's the easiest option. Turn the frame rate cap, make sure that is off as well. This will then gray out, so that becomes irrelevant from that point forward. Field of view. Now the higher this is, the max is 105, but the higher this is, the lower your FPS is likely to be because you'll be able to see more of the game. So once you've completed all these settings that we're going to go through, if you're still seeing dips in performance or the frame rate is not where you want it to be, then come back here and maybe look at readjusting your field of view. And there's another setting we can look at a little bit later on as well. But just bear this one in mind if you're struggling with performance. Now, if we look at the advanced video settings, I've got mine set to custom. Now. Depending on your graphics card, I'm running a 1080 Ti, but depending on your graphics card, these top two are generally quite optional. The game is very well optimized, so something like anti-aliasing, that takes up some RAM on your graphics card, as does ambient occlusion as well. This is about realism and the lighting and the depth of field almost, and creating a greater sense of realism. So you can switch those off, and generally they don't impact the overall look of the game too much. From here, texture quality, I tend to keep that quite high. Shadow quality, you can drop this to the lowest setting. In a normal game, I'll probably just switch it off in all fairness, but whether you have it on lowest or highest, the look of the game is pretty much identical. It'd be really hard to see, but the improvement in performance is quite considerable. So this is definitely one to keep an eye on, guys. Depth of field, this is one that is quite intensive on your GPU. So it's when you ADS, basically it sort of blurs out the scene based on your reticle, but you don't really need that in fairness. You can switch that off and you'll be able to enjoy the game just as good as anyone else and that greater frame rates as a result. So switch that one off, guys. I have all the detail settings set to high or highest, but again, these would be reflective of your graphics card. When you come in here, it should have your recommended settings already. So aside from the main ones like shadow, you can generally keep these ones quite the same as whatever your graphics card chooses for you, basically. Motion blur, now this is one that can come off. There's no real need for it. And in fairness, even with it off, you can move so fast on PC that there is an element of blur anyway. It's either that or my eyes are really bad, but generally you can get away with turning that one off. Now render resolution, now much like your field of view up here, 105, I've got mine set. If you're struggling with frame rate or you just want a quick win on here, 
you can actually just bring this down by maybe 10%. That will help improve your overall performance because as you can see, if you look at the top, the VRAM is going up as I'm increasing that and it's coming back down as I'm decreasing it. So it will use less RAM on your graphics card if you bring this down, but you don't really want to change it by more than 10 or 15% because then it becomes a noticeable change to the graphics of the game. So if you are struggling for performance and you've changed all these settings and your field of view is set to 85, which is roughly the same as console, then maybe come here and review the render resolution settings instead. HDR is dependent on your monitor or TV, so I don't have that option available, but again, that's likely to use up some VRAM, so maybe look at reviewing that one. So film grain is definitely one to take a look at guys, because this one took about 10 frames per second off me. And when I turned it off, I had a considerable improvement. So definitely look at reviewing those. So those would be the key ones that I would look at guys. If we hit apply now and then escape. So we're in the game. So as you can see, I've taken V-Sync off now and I'm getting nearly 300 frames per second just sitting in orbit, which is actually insane when you consider consoles 30 frames. So if we're gonna load into somewhere, let's just go into uh, trough land because it's the easiest one. And we can see how silky smooth we are with those settings. So here we are loaded in. Look at that. So we're sitting around 100 frames in trough land. This is actually quite an intensive area. I'm assuming due to the geometry and some of the detailing with the foliage and things like that. But yeah, they're sort of 140-ish frames. Find some enemies. There you are. So smooth. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the video for today, guys. Just a quick rundown of my settings and a few settings you guys should take a look at on your PC and in the game prior to running D2 on your PCs. If you found the video useful, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new around here and want to see even more Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game and enjoy myself and I'll catch you guys all again very soon. Peace.